Renee, what are your thoughts on the game? Does it feel like an opportunity missed tonight, given the, the strength of the performance? Yeah, I think so. Um, having said that, I, um, <clears throat> I think we'd be very, very proud of this performance. Sometimes in, in football, you, you play games and the results are not going for you and then you try to, to look for what the causes are. But this is, I think, one of those losses where you can be really, really proud of the performance. I mean, we played against an absolutely strong, very strong nation. You know, if you look at, um, you know, they've obviously got a very big game coming up in a few days against Italy, as we all know. But they can field two world-class teams uh, without a shadow of a doubt. And uh, if you look at the players where they play, you know, what leagues they play, what clubs they play. And if you then see where we have been coming from uh, as Australia, obviously I work with Graham now for five years, and what we've done, and if you look over the nearly last 12 months to where we come from qualifying through the two playoff games, then the World Cup, which was great, where we would play France, Tunisia, Denmark, Argentina, and even in leading up to this game where we played strong opposition, Ecuador twice, Argentina again and Mexico and now England. This was by far the best performance. You know, I think we were very well organised, very well structured. The, the players played with courage and bravery when we could. And with a bit of more luck, we could have scored, you know, at least two goals. How did Arnie lose his voice? What was he, what was he doing? <laughs> well, I've tried to warn him. He says, you are in a stadium here that probably holds, you know, more than 80,000 people. Nobody will hear you, you know, but that is his passion. You know, Arnie is so passionate about Australian football, you know, about the young players and, and about the national team. And uh, he just he can't help himself, but uh, <laughs> he paid the price tonight. What did you learn about the team tonight to, to go out there in front of 80,000 people, particularly some of the younger players who, um, you know, there's a lot of players with, with five to ten caps in that squad um, who didn't really look out of place? I think if you look a bit further than that, you have to give those, those boys an enormous credit you know, the bravery that they have. And I think it's the mentality that that, that stands out for us as, as an Australian nation. We can go toe-to-toe with all the big nations. We are just f- trying to find that, that extra bit of quality to really put them to the sword, you know, and, uh, and that is what we're looking for. But uh, like I said, we keep trying to find new young players to bring in you know, to making sure that we keep developing and we keep, you know, growing as a team. And we've grown a lot again today, for sure. And just lastly from me, um, it's the second game that Kai Rolls has played at, at left back. What's the sort of rationale with testing him in that position and is that something you'll continue to do? Well, no, we, 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 it's always good to have players that can play in multiple positions, you know, and uh, we've had obviously, uh, I think Graham has, <clears throat> has stated that a few times that it's difficult for us in the, in the windows of September or October that we, we can draw from Australian players because the A-League hasn't started. So those players weren't fit enough. That was the case also with Aziz Behic at the time when we played Mexico. We know that Kai can play there. Obviously, we have good conversations with players when we, when we try them in different positions. Kai is very comfortable there. And uh, with Cam Burgess coming in, you know, to see what we can do there. And again, Cam Burgess, again, outstanding performance with him again, with Harry Sutter at the back. So it's another option for us. So uh, very pleased with, with that performance as well. Might uh, open it up to anyone else who's got questions. Ian? Uh, what do you think of um, Goodwin uh, tonight? I mean, he's particularly outstanding. Um, playing football, sadly, but uh, clearly it's not effective. No, Craig is one of those, you know, footballers who's got this, this lovely touch, this finesse, and, and also the great intelligence that, that he carries into the game. And we've seen him in the World Cup, obviously, he's made that move to Saudi, but uh, luckily he's played enough games for, for, for him, for us to select him, you know, because that is, again, that was always, that's what we're looking at. Match minutes are important for players to be, uh, you know, to be, to be fit, but... Again, like I said, today every single performance was outstanding. There was, there was not one player that we could discuss, listen, we need to stop him or stop him. Any substitutions we made was because people were running out of energy and we have to, to bring some other players on. But uh, now it was fantastic to see him back in camp and, and, and fantastic to see him play the way that he did. Zach, over to you. Thanks, Matt. Uh, what was the feeling? You talked a little bit about the quality, you know, England's second team. Is, is, is international world-class standard. What was the feeling between you and Arnie having to respond to the substitutes that they made in particular? I mean, what was that moment like seeing the list of players that they were bringing on? Well, we expected that that was going to happen. 
But the one thing I think that we, we, we have, we respect everybody, but we don't fear anybody. That is, I think, the biggest thing. And we knew that if Gareth Southgate could have gone about this game in two ways, you know, he could have gone about it to start a strong side and then start to f- filter them out or start, and rightly so, to maybe for him to look at some other players and then making sure that you bring some other players on, you know, that he wanted to, uh, to see on the pitch as well. But without a shadow of a doubt, he's got world-class players in every position. But for us, I think if you look back, and I think we need to look at the credit for ourselves, we had a fantastic game plan. We were very well organised. And there's not many national teams, I tell you that, that have uh, the courage to press and to go and to press against big teams. Because I tell you, most of the national team coaches, they think they haven't got enough contact time with the team, so they opt for a more, you know, a more... Uh, uh, calm sort of approach, you know, to sort of defend it. We always go full out. We press where we can. And I think that is uh, that is admirable from, from our side. Just looking forward to the next game in a couple of days' time. Obviously, you've, you've given out a couple of debuts in this one, a couple of those younger players getting some valuable minutes at the end there. How much of the talk has been around rotating the squad for the next one? What could we uh, expect to see? Yeah, it's again. Uh, I think I only said it before. This game against England, it's a, it's a game, you know, a game at the time. Um, same now. So now, now we can look back, but then concentrate on, on New Zealand, another big game, you know, <clears throat> sort of a derby. So it's always, always special, and we're playing for something as well. Now we've got a squad. Obviously, we will have a look at all the players that have played and how they're going to come out of it. But again, we take that game as serious as we took it here as against England. And uh, like I said, I know Arnie, he's so passionate. He is devastated at the fact that we lost, you know, uh, where I say, listen, you have to look beyond that loss because the benefits are the respect that we've earned and the perception that we've given to a lot of people watch that game. We now need to look at New Zealand and we're going to go out there with only one reason to win it. Just one last one for me. Um, Ryan Strain, I mean, sensational in his, his, his first start, not, not his first appearance, obviously, but his first start had a really you know, tricky time out there, but, but came through it really well. Just a, just a note on him, Matt. Yeah, again, it is, it is sometimes, you know, and the one thing as well is because sometimes you think to yourself, what are these players thinking when they see those names on a piece of paper? Because they watch them every week, whether in, in the Premier League or other big leagues or in the Champions League, and then they face them. You know, but I think it's all part of the preparation and, again, that the detail that we give to those players to making sure that they're well prepared. And you could see that Ryan was well prepared and he dealt, he dealt with it really well. Any further questions elsewhere? Everyone happy? All right, great. We might call it there.